This is uh, an early 18th century English imprint in a period binding. Beautiful uh, Cambridge style boards decorated in blind with these concentric rectangles and the speckling and these floral devices in the corners. There's some loss up in this corner here. Very nice spine, the original spine with the original gilt spine title. The joints on the book have completely dried and cracked. This rear cover is now totally loose from the book and the front cover is held uh, just by the binding cords, still like so. And what we see is that it is a, well, a Sammel bond of sorts. There are four works in it. The first one in two parts is Advice to a Son, which is quite interesting, moral advice. The second wor work is a Political Reflections on the Government of, of the Turks, so Turkey. Then there's something about Queen Elizabeth and King James. And what's interesting is that each of these works within it has its own separate title page, but the pagination of the entire work is continuous. Uh, interesting early rubber stamp. Uh, no idea why that's there. Obviously an owner's stamp of some kind. But this advice to a son includes advice about love and marriage. <laughs> interesting. And to women readers. <laughs> Jeez. And uh, here's more advice about traveling and government and so on, religion. These are all the things that you tell your child that you want them to know. And then we get to this work here. Title page of this is 1700, uh, Government of Turkey. Interesting reference to Machiavelli there. Uh, the King of Sweden's descent into Germany. Interesting, huh. Yeah, very interesting work here. Okay, and so we get beyond that. Oh, look at this. The, the greatness and the corruption of Rome. Right. Interesting. Yes. Look at that. Might be wor worthy of revisiting topics like that today in contemporary America uh, and our society as it spirals out of control. <laughs> so, let's see what else we've got. <laughs> and here. Like so. The text block uh, is evenly toned and lightly browned as we see, but it's still sewn exactly as it was issued. It's a testament to the type of uh, skill bookbinders at this time had that a book like this could withstand over 300 years of handling to the point where uh, the covers start to fall off, but the book itself remains absolutely tight and sound. It's, it's still a very nice book, beautiful book, and it's now available online from me, Brian DeMambro.